Hey everybody, Sonic O'Brien here with um, another video. Uh, and this is about pickles. So pretty much for today, that means we're going to be talking about pickles. That Now a pickles, uh, the first pickling happened about 4,000 years ago. And in order to get a pickle, you first take your happy cucumber, you add some vinegar, and you, you add them t together. Y yeah, th that. All this equals a pickle. Now, uh, pickles can be um, go through natural formation, fermentation at room temperature by using this nice handy chemical right here. This chemical is known as lactic acid. By using this, you can reduce... Uh, it produces the required acidity, which is actually at a pH of 4.6. Now, you can also add salt to them to get things such as the German sauerkraut or Korean kimchi are produced by salting them in order to draw excess water, which would you could, which would then, of course, bring out water so that way it gets that more of a taste to it. So, therefore, by reducing acidity, this makes it passable by the, I think, the EDT, I don't know what it's called. Uh, anyway, in commercial pickling, a preservative like sodium benzoate or EDTA may also be used to enhance cell uh, shelf life. In formation pickling, the food itself produces a preservative agent, typically by a process involving lactobacillus bacteria that produce lactic acid. Alum was once used in preservation and is still approved by the Food Addi Additive by the USA Food and Drug Administration. Um, you can refrigerate pickles, which are unfermented pickles, or you can, of course, jar uh, pickles by jarring pickles um, along with brine, vinegar, or both, as well as spices. Well, of course, result in this. Um, thank you guys for watching, and next time you eat pickles, think of me, and do know <coughs> you're killing cucumbers, guys. The, the cu you're killing pickles. Please, spread the word. Stop pickle cruelty. Thank you.